Around May 31st, Bhavananda tells Yasodhananda that Srila Prabhupada wants Ritvik Acharyas. I will play another video clip from the 1990 North American GBC meetings. This is Jasoda Nandan speaking. He is again reading from his diary, entries he wrote at the time in 1977. And this is also confirmed by another conversation that took place with the said Bhavananda Das on the 31st of May. Now these taped conversations, which were the Prabhupada, there is one on the 28th of May, 1977, with the various GBCs. On the 31st of May, 1977, on or about 9.27 a.m., there was a fire sacrifice for Chaitya Guru Das, Prem Yogi Das, and Gopinath Das, who were taking sannyas. And also, numerous Gurukul children had been recommended to Srila Prabhupada to become his disciples because we felt that his departure was imminent and we had arranged to discuss with Tamal, to discuss with Tamal Krishna Raj to get these initiations done. At that time, I did the fire sacrifice. Prior to the fire sacrifice, the following conversation took place. YNS, I asked him, what's happening? He replied, this is with Bhavananda Das. Things are being discussed among the GBCs. Prabhupada said that there is a conspiracy among some of the Goswamis in Vrindavan to try to take over Mayapur and Vrindavan. I can't wait. This is exciting. I really like to get involved in this. I like power. YNS. I'll stick to the Gurukul. What is this I heard from Gauri Das about nomination of Ritvik Acharyas? Bhavananda Swami. At that time he was referred as Bhav as it was common amongst the sannyasis to refer amongst ourselves to a shortened form of our names. Bhav. It just means on behalf of Prabhupada. That's all. YNS. What did you say? There was another comment. He says, I can't wait till we start to do this. I took this as a reference that the movement was going to expand. We were going to preach. Whatever is the interpretation of that comment from Bhavananda Das, he may be free to explain. YNS, what did you say? I was a little shocked. Bob, oh, come on. Let's do the fire yagna. This is a factual account of his reconfirmation of his understanding of the actual meaning and intent of Srila Prabhupada's conversation which did occur on the 28th of May. The members of the GBC at the 1990 meeting, when this video was recorded, basically dismissed the diary entries of Jasoda Nandan. They infer that he must have misunderstood the conversations or he didn't write very accurate notes. Some of his grammar may not have been very so perfect. After all, his native language is French, I believe. But he is an intelligent devotee, a respected sannyasi at the time, and was serving with the Brindavan Gulukula, he had no reason to make any of this up. And interesting to note is that according to the GBC May 20th report, it clearly stated that Srila Prabhupada would select men who would become regular gurus and initiate their own disciples. Yet three days later, Bhavananda is still thinking that Srila Prabhupada wanted to appoint, appoint Ridviks who would initiate on on Prabhupada's behalf after he departs. Bhavananda was a GBC at the time, yet his signature is, strangely, it is not to be found in the GBC May 28th report, even though he was in Vrindavan at the time. Yet all the other GBC members, except for Tamal as well, who, you know, who was in Vrindavan, did sign it. Maybe Bhavananda was also busy with other matters and hadn't read the report yet. Or maybe there was some disagreement amongst some of the GBC to just what Srila Prabhupada really said and wanted, and they hadn't come to a final conclusion at that time yet. I mean, we don't really know. I'm just speculating from what Yasodhanandan's diary mentions and what, you know, the other facts we know.